Well, this site, Fenwick, is located in Kew, uh, a suburb in Melbourne, situated on the banks of the Yarra River, the Birra Run, which is really evocative of topography and landscape. There's a wonderful relationship between um, dense and forested banks of the river, aligned with a really beautiful heritage precinct, a really special pocket of Melbourne's built fabric. Our clients are also a real opportunity here. You have that sense that you're sort of on the edge of a wilderness, even though you're very, very close to the city. And the fact that nothing can be built in front of it allows us to take advantage of these remarkable panoramas. It was really sort of conceived as a building mass that would be broken apart. And there was this notion that the scale would drop down towards the street and read like a two-story house and then kind of elevate as it traveled down the site with the topography. And in that breaking up of the total building into these three smaller distinct pavilions is opening up these um, view lines and view corridors through canopy trees and gardens down over the river, over the north, opening up those wonderful long distance landscape views. It's kind of interesting when you think about designing these spaces because we don't actually know who the end user of this space is. So for us as a practice, we'll start to think about you know, how humans want to live in the space. Creating a space is a real tactile experience. The spatial planning is paramount, but you know, that sense of warmth, generosity and materiality was a real focus for us. Art, fashion, you know, history all informs our work. So I'll always start with the material and I'll always start with, you know, a piece of art. I think that's how you create a space that can interlay for multiple users. And I think that's something we, we did apply here at Fenwick. It's so nice to have a really big gesture within a space. The island bench was always a monolithic form and that soft radius into the rear panel is really subtle, but you know, sophisticated uh, detail and nuance. The material selection were all authentic materials that have a durability. So this is raw copper, uh, galvanized steel and concrete. All materials that from the day the project is finished will age and mature um, as the gardens evolve and grow up around them so that they sit in balance with each other. We have a lot of windows which are facing into the voids which cut between all the pavilions and allow those wonderful views through to the terrain. And those windows are screened by a copper um, screen which sort of folds around the windows and allows for privacy but light to come in. For me, I think the hero spaces in this project, the spaces in between facade and surface and gesture as the concrete curves around some of these little in-between moments of the buildings, which allow shadow and texture and sun to, to pass through the dappled light for the trees as they mature to um, be cast across the surface. The building will become an extension of the environment. We actually wanted the building to sit lightly within the landscape, obviously with the borrowed landscape. We wanted to repeat uh, the look of the vegetation that you see beyond those vistas into the actual project itself. And then with the plants slowly enveloping the garden as that relic element, that addition office we're trying to achieve. There are quite a few elements that will change throughout the year and the seasons. We should see a lot more layers forming in the garden. So we've intentionally planted large groupings of native shrubs. And then you'll get these grasses coming up through that, as well as lower ground covers that should create these incredible layers of different textures and colors. The only sort of deciduous element we've got is the Boston Ivy, which will be climbing up the buildings, which will certainly give us that beautiful change of season where you'll get the green in of the building during summer in the warm times, and then the autumn color and then the building will reveal itself further during winter time. The garden will only continue to get better and better as time goes on, as our plants get more and more established and form habitats and systems that help to support the building. Having the project completed, it's a real pleasure to go through that journey of arriving on site and, and feeling that continued connection to country as you see the sun um, you know, rise and fall across this particular bend in this particular place.